Hello everybody, this is Kaiju King 122 and I am back with another awesome video. And today is a figure review, but not just any figure review. It's our very first quarantine figure review because I can't go anywhere. Anyways, I'm going to show you first the box of the figure. It is the new NECA Godzilla 1956 poster version. Based off of the original Godzilla King of the Monsters American poster. Which is what it was called in America. You know that movie. Okay, so let's let's read this epically. Raging through the world on a rampage of destruction. Godzilla, it's alive! King of the monsters. Awesome and then some. It includes a poster backdrop that becomes a 3D diorama. And that's it. So you also got the Godzilla logo. Cool little uh, poster thingy. Godzilla, King of the Monsters on the back. And then 65th anniversary. Then we got this awesome stuff. Which reminds me of Jurassic Park because they always do the savage action, snapping action, spitting action. But I'm going to read this epically as well. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, savage action. Authentic color scheme, just like the 56 poster. Spectacular thrills, dynamic violence, diabolical demon, belching fire. Whoa! And then there's this cool little paragraph, which I will read as well. Surging up from the depths of the sea. It's a tidal wave of terror to wreak vengeance on mankind. It's Godzilla, king of the monsters. Jet planes cannot destroy it. Bombs cannot kill it. All modern weapons fail. Is this the end of our civilization? Can the scientists of the world find a way to stop this creature? It's a tale to stun the mind. More terrifying than anything ever shown on the screen. See it today. It's Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And then we have Godzilla logo and we have a Toho logo. So yeah, that's a box. Let's open it up. There's uh, the figure, basically, so which I do have. And then here's a little poster thing inside and uh, the epicness that is in it. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. It, uh, it's like, uh, I love the, these NECA figures. Now we've got the, close it, there. It's, uh, it's a little bit uh, finicky. Then we got Godzilla himself, who's king of the monsters. we got this pretty epic Godzilla figure, so by NECA. Is a recolored version of their 54 figure that was released in 2013. So, I actually I am a person that likes repaints, and this looks a very nice repaint. Let's look at it. As you can see, the spines are brightly colored, just like he's about ready to fire his atomic beam, which he is. And he's green and the black and the coloring and all that good stuff. Tails is pretty cool. I've already reviewed this uh, figure, but repaints are really nice looking. He's nice and green. I love him. Pretty cool looking. It'd be cool if his eyes were red like a demon or something. I don't know. And then his beam a beam particle thing. Pretty, pretty awesome. I always like to refer to NECA as poor man's SH Monster Arts. Because they're cheap and they're easy to get. And Okay, they're not exactly cheap unless you want to pay $30. But they're cheaper than SH Monster Arts, which is like $100 plus. And if you want to like go super crazy, you can get a Japan, Japan exclusives that are like $200. So it's all your uh, opinion. Um, Basically, it's a basically the same figure. Pretty cool looking. I uh, don't have any problems with this guy. He's pretty pretty awesome. Oh, by the way, his beam comes up, comes off like that. And here's what it looks like all by itself. Look at this awesome beam. Because he's a diabolical demon. And I'm going to compare him with his brethren. Okay. It's going to fall off. Can't have one good uh, YouTube video without something falling off. Or something I can't put back in. Okay. Um, here is his original brother. From 2013. It's a NECA Godzilla 1954. Pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing. We can have a, we're gonna, we're gonna real closely go up and we're gonna look at them both. We're gonna see. Let me know down in the comments which one you think, uh, is best. 
So, anyways, that is going to do it for this review. But before I go, there's something I need to discuss. I have gained two subscribers since the last time we've left a month ago. And I thank everybody who's been subscribed this far and has held on to my YouTube channel and every time I upload. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this video. And we're going to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. And that is my awesome notification sound, by the way. Anyways, uh, this is going to do it for that video. I hope you all enjoy. Next video will probably be Jurassic Park related, or maybe not. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be something else. Maybe I'll review something that's definitely not Godzilla or that related, or Jurassic Park related. Maybe it'll be something entirely different. Maybe it'll be about a video game or something. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Bye! Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Also, comment. I already said comment. Okay, uh, I'm going to end.